My name is Ngozi Ukazru, and I am a cartoonist. I'm Jennifer Zabasaja, and this is How I Work, a spotlight on individuals who embrace change and how they're disrupting the industry. Ngozi is rewriting the rules of success in the comic world with the popularity of her webcomic, Check Please. Check Please is the story of a former figure skater who joins a college hockey team and he loves to bake. Biddy is this tiny little gay kid from Madison, Georgia. The book is him navigating his freshman and sophomore years at Samwell. Her love of comics started at an early age. Growing up with comics, I was reading lots of manga, I was reading a lot of superhero comics, and I was just drawing fan art for all those things and putting it online. So it seemed natural to do that with Check Please as well. Check Please amassed a massive online following from Tumblr to Twitter, helping bring the story to paperback. I didn't realize how many people cared that deeply about Check Please until my first Kickstarter. I think that was in 2015, and I actually launched that during my self-promotion class. It was funded within class time, and that was the first time I realized that this story that I was randomly throwing up online, people care about it. And the web has proven to be a space for creators like Ungozi to thrive. Especially in the world of webcomics, that's where marginalized people, marginalized creators get to tell their stories. It's really exciting to see new creators putting their stories online first usually, and then attracting a readership of equally marginalized people and diverse people. See people say like, I've been waiting for a story like this, or they say like, thank you for a story like this. It makes you feel really good to know that this <laughs> random story that I came up with after I graduated means things to people, so it, it feels good. Ngozi plans to continue entertaining audiences with her stories, both in print and online. I want to tell more stories, and I think I'm in the process of just finding inspiration. I've always been really into superheroes, so I'm working on something with that. I also am still very much into sports, so I'm working on a softball story with my friend Madeline Rupert. I can't not put things online. It's, it's what I've done since I was 13 or 14, drawing and just sharing things with a small community online. So I'll keep doing that.